from Welcome back, I'm Ryan from Blue Order Gaming, and if it sounds like I'm sick, it's because I am. Now, today on the Daily Grind, I want to show you how to fight the Highland Ravager, which is the most powerful dragon in the game, without taking damage at the start. Now, the, I've already killed him, so he won't be here, but uh, the way that most people go is they walk right through that archway or the other archway, and they jump down to fight him. Now, if you've already killed him, then you know this route, but instead of going through these two, you just walk down here over to the left and follow this pathway. Once you get to these uh, grouping of rocks, you're going to want to jump down. And note, I'm not taking any damage. Wow, isn't this just all difficult? And then you just walk through this pathway right here. The Highland Ravager will be laying right in that uh, open spot of no snow, right about here. And, as you can see, I've not taken any damage, nor has my party, because we took the easy way down, instead of jumping down and losing a good amount of your health. Just to show you, I will run back up here and jump down. Just to note, my guard is at about 30. So if it goes down, it's at about 30. And I do happen to have a lot of extra health on my character because of the armor that I'm wearing. And in case you're wondering how to get this awesome helmet, it does involve fighting the Highland Ravager. You get this as a drop, because this is a, an awesome looking helmet. Okay, so... The damage that you would take by jumping out would look kind of like this. Yeah, you take a lot of damage from falling. If I didn't have more health than normal, I probably would have died there. So taking this extra path helps a lot. But if you've already fought the dragon, this is how you leave the arena, so you already know about this. And that's it for the daily grind today. Remember, I'm riding from Luda Gaming, and I will see you guys in the next one.